What's good creators? Welcome back to Bond Zone Media. So today, this is a response video to a question that I got from one of you. Now the original question reads, how do I keep the original background but add a gradient to it. Now it's a lot simpler than you think and today we're gonna look at layers to achieve this effect. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Now the first image you see is just a stock photo I'm gonna use as an example. I've already taken out the background and saved it as a PNG file and I have it open here. So we're gonna come back to that in a second. So the first thing I want to point out here on the right is where you will find your layers palette. But simply think of layers like a layer cake. You have your bottom, your middle, and your top, or anything in between. Or you can look at it as having a background, a middle ground, a foreground. So the first thing I would do to achieve the look that you are going after, first we're going to lock this layer. Now if you look at the layers palette, you will see your layer have three dots. That is your layer settings. Click on that and you can rename it here, change the blend modes. This is where you can change your transparency, lock it, make it visible or hidden, uh, even merge and duplicate or even delete. We're going to leave this layer locked so that we can't manipulate it in any way. Now head down here to the plus button. It's going to give you options to create a new layer, either empty with an image or with text. In this case, we're going to leave it empty. Now in terms of the gradient, we, we want to head over here and click on gradient. And whether you choose radial or linear, it's up to you, but I'm going to change the color here. And I like that color. Here's a finicky thing with Pixlr. If you want the opacity, like if I were to just put this gradient over, it's going to, you know, cover the whole image. And if I go to my opacity now, it, it doesn't change. There's two things you can do here. You can adjust the opacity ahead of time. Let's say I want it at 50%. And then I put that gradient down. As you can see now, the opacity is at 50%. Now the other thing you can do is that if you forget to do that ahead of time, you can go back to your layers palette here and turn it down here. So there are two ways to approach this. Now, lastly, all you have to do is get your cutout image and duplicate it on top of the layers and there you go. Simple, right? Now, I hope I'm saying your channel name right. Les Touras de Deni. I really hope this answers your question. I appreciate the question actually. Um, if you have any more questions, make sure to let me know in the comments below. And for those of you that are watching, if you have any other related questions, let me know if you need clarification. I'd love to do more video responses personally for you. With that being said, guys, always remember you were created to create.